Hello, I'm Jenny Bond. Now, did you know that Retirement Move have commissioned a survey all about what makes a marriage last? So let me ask you, how do you keep the spark alive in your relationship? Oh, do you, love? <laughs> Talking. We have fun. Still maintaining an ability to surprise each other. We have a camper van, and if you don't get on in a camper van, you're not going to get on at all. So that keeps the spark alive, because you have to be polite and tidy and neat, and, uh, and we enjoy travelling, so it's great. I would love to know where you went on your first date. I came to you for supper. I think you did. And we went to your record collection. Um, dancing, wasn't it? A dance, yeah, with yeah. The, when they used to have the old ballroom dancing. He took me to the conference disco. He's that's good. right. He's a very good it dancer. Was, well, yeah. it was some time ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's embarrassing. No, the first day, our first actual date, we went to the steamship. Oh, right. What about over in the forest then? <laughs> <laughs> OK, here's a challenge for you. What romantic things do you do for your partner? Oh, for always buying hearts. <laughs> Just flowers. You know, there's no special occasion. I make sort of photo books for her, uh, yeah. always, you know, always a Valentine's card, yeah. always something yeah. romantic on the birthday, yeah. go out for lots of meals. Yeah. What do I do for him? I'm, I'm with him. <laughs> so this is going to put you on the spot. What are your tips for a long and happy marriage? Smiling, kissing, hugging. And have meals around the table rather than kind of just in front of the television all the time and so there's no kind of... It's talking to each other. Yeah. Don't, don't just sit indoors and watch the television. You know, go out and enjoy yourselves. Be tolerant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we have a hug every day. That's really important. Yes, we do. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Absolutely. So what are my tips for a long and happy marriage? Well, first of all, I'd say a sense of humour. Keep laughing. One mantra I've always given myself is don't argue about trivial things, particularly the housework. A little bit of dust really doesn't matter that much. Another piece of advice I'd give you is don't go to sleep in a sulk. It really isn't worth it. Just say sorry, even if it wasn't your fault. Do you know, I've been married for more than 40 years now and I sometimes wonder how we manage to keep it going. But we do. And I think our happiest times together are when we're in our own home. We love our home. We love the comfort it brings us and the security. And what we like more than anything else is just to sit down every day if we can with a cup of coffee overlooking the sea and we chat and we listen and that really is the secret of it all.